Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to be going over dashing here in Godot. Now this is not going to be the best dashing because our, it's going to be a pretty good dashing but it is not going to look the best just because I have no animations or anything like that on. But if you were to go and put animations on you can make this dash look very good and if you were to change the settings for whatever you need here then this is going to be a pretty good dashing for your game but let me just give you or show you what it does so you have a player that can just move around so if i go forward and then click dash you'll see it speed up and then slow back down and it'll speed up to a quick pace but you can make that speed up as quick as you want or as slow as you want so if you want it to be where you click your dash button and it makes you slower then you could do that so we're gonna get into this hopefully this will help now I am working on a sprite right now trying to get a bunch of different art for more tutorials here in the future so in the future there is going to be tutorials that are all gonna be made with art so they're going to look a lot better so I'm still working on that but I did want to get dashing out so let's get on with this tutorial this is going to be a nice and quick tutorial probably under three minutes so let's just get into this tutorial very very quick so first of all we are going to want to set up a dash key so I'm gonna go up here to project settings click on input map and you can set up a dash key by typing in dash up here and clicking add but I have already added one and I have added it down here as dash. Then once you do add it, or once you do click add up here, it's gonna come down here and you can click on this little add event button. Click it, you can click a key, whatever key you want. Let's say I want my dash key to be Q. I click Q and then I click okay. So now my dash key is Q and we are good to go. So we can close out of that. Now we want to go into our physics process function because this is going to be running over and over and over in the background of the game so it's always going to get the input that we do want i'm just going to go with a if input dot is action pressed and then we're going to use our dash key so if input you want to put this under movement honestly it doesn't matter just make sure that it is under the physics process or whatever your main movement is under try and put it under there because that's going to allow you to be able to click dash anytime without having to have something or without having to click a or without having to trigger something else to let dash happen. Like for example, I don't really know an example, but yeah, so just make sure you do have it under a physics process function and you should be good to go. I don't know why I can't type. But now we're going to want to use our new function or our new key input, input key that we just made, which is dash. Got to make sure you have the colon on the end. And I'm going to probably just call a function. So I'm going to put pass here for now. Now I'm going to exit out of physics process. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of my script. And I forgot to delete this. So I'm just going to delete that real quick and delete that real quick but now what so I basically just deleted everything from the script so it's still the same game that you saw before but I did delete everything that's the only reason I was still there but now we have our dash so I'm gonna go and our, our input is set up so if we go down to the bottom and we make a function I'm just gonna name this function dash because well that's what we are trying to do so our dash what we want is we want our speed to basically triple or you can put it at any speed so just put a speed equals whatever you want so if you want it more or if you want it to dash pretty quick then i say that well you need to put it more than what your current speed is so my current speed is 300 now yours may be different so put a different number in down here but I'm just gonna do 
speed equals speed times we can go with four four or three or something around there would be pretty good now we want to set up our timer so i'm going to go over here to the kinematic body in our scene i'm going to add and i'm going to add a timer just like that now there is some stuff that we do have to set up with the timer so i'm going to click the timer go over to the inspector i'm going to put the wait time at like we can go with 0.5 uh, we can put one shot on because we do want one shot because that's going to allow it to run once and then stop now we are going to want this so whenever the timer is completed then we want it to send our or send a signal to the player script which is what I just did so just click on timer click on node or click on timer click on node click timeout and click player and then click connect and then you should have this fancy thing down here but first go back up to the dash function we are going to want to get the timer so you can put a money sign and then type in timer and then we want to start the timer so dot start is the function to start the timer and that will start the timer that we've already set up which is the 0.5 seconds one shot timer so once that goes off then we want to because we set our speed up super high here, we're going to want to set our speed back. So we can do speed equals 300. But you put whatever your original speed is there. You don't have to put 300 because if your original speed was 500, then you obviously want your speed to go back to 500. So I'm just gonna put 300. And now we can go up to our, where we input. So if input that is action press dash, we can just call the dash function. So we do dash and the function signs and you should be good to go. So now if we are to go and play, we have our movement like normal. And if we were to click the dash key, you see that there is a little dash there. Just like so. We could also probably look at this if we go down here to dash and then um where could we do it uh if we go i don't know where i can add this in here right here we can do this and then we can print motion so we can actually see this in action add that so if you look down in the output you can see that but whenever i click the dash key that happened so i'm gonna x out if we go back up so this is my normal speed right here is 316 so that's normal speed i click dash key it's gonna instantly shoot us up super super quick to where we end up going like how much do we end up going we end up going all the way up to almost a thousand speed from 300 and then we go right back down instantly all right yeah almost instantly so Whenever you do play the game, that does look pretty good, especially if you do have some type of animation, like where you have like little lines coming out of the back of your player. That would look pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this did help. If it did, then make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. If it didn't, let me know what I can improve on and what didn't help and i will for sure to answer your question in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching i will be using art in the future i am trying to work on a big set of art so hopefully that will come out soon but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you soon stay safe stay awesome and i will see you soon goodbye